Bob, it's me today. Uh, I'm doing something different, like I said in my previous Fortnite video. Uh, I'm done with gameplay videos and moving on to more different type of videos. And this is one of them, which is looking at articles and reading about them. Now, this article is from 2018. This has been updated like a couple days ago. So I want to, to do this because it does relate kind of to today. Which is, our kids obsessed with Fortnite? Is it bad for them? Uh, proceed with caution, but yes, this, do this game does have redeeming values. Yes, so we're going to start the article off and read it, and I'm going to discuss why it relates to today. So, you can almost hear a collective sigh rising from the American parents. How do we get our kids back from the black hole that is Fortnite? Uh, the Hungry Games style multiplayer online gaming phenomenon, originally released by the games, 2017 played captured minds, free to play, 25 million players, in spring 2018, Fortnite made, Fortnite made, you know, 2.5 billion dollars in 2018, largely off microtransactions within the game, in which players can buy skins for their characters and dance moves, like how they call them dance moves, they never call them emotes, always dance moves, that's what you notice in these articles, always dance moves, never, never really emotes, unless they're, Go into detail. In fact, the game even inspired a dance craze among its young fans, recognizable to any weary parent flossing. Ooh. This reeks of 2018 articles about Fortnite. Ooh. <laughs> uh, though its popularity has dropped a little from its peak in 2018, the launch of the game's Chapter 2 version and the announcement in January 2020 that is now an official college eSport promise to give a new life. This is where the update came in, probably. Is Fortnite bad for kids, or does it have some redeeming values? I watched a video, it's not important. So from a parent, I hate it. It consumes his brain, said Indiana, Paul's Indiana mom, Summer Ramsey, hope I'm saying your name right, whose teen son spent a summer playing a game. He talks about his character like it's real. He spends his money on packs of virtual crap. He gets livid when he dies, and I do a happy dance. Ramsey said she heard her son alarm go off at 5.30 one morning, and she knew it was so he could start playing Fortnite. That's dedication. Uh, Tracy Albert of, of Maine said their son is mad and she won't let him play Fortnite 24 hours a day. Albert said he has pretended to go to sleep and then sneaked out of bed and stayed up until 2 to 3 a.m., secretly playing. Some of his friends play too, so I know I'm not alone. Because one of his friends' mom's a teacher, which makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, the only problem... Um, the only people tired of Fortnite seems their parents. But is Fortnite bad for kids? Does anything good come out of the hour, hours our kids are spending glued to their screens in effort to score the, the inverted victory royale? There it is. Um, then it goes on and on. I just want to read a little snippet of it. Mostly because I want to get to why I want to talk about it. Yeah, so it's published in 2018 is an updated. So I want to talk about this article mainly because it does relate to now because of the virus. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say the virus because of one, getting demonetized. You know, I can't get demonetized and destroy I don't want to spread fear. So, the virus is around, we are all stuck at home, and I fear that there are going to be new articles, if there are already, which I have not really found, which maybe because I lazily searched this article up, but I haven't really found any articles, new articles really about the situation. Like I know in, let's say, Italy, I believe, everyone's home and there's a surge in popularity in Fortnite. Same everywhere else in the world, Every every child is playing Fortnite. Which means more money is going to be spent on these games. Parents will be more angry because these articles are all about spending money. Like, parents don't like it when hundreds of dollars are being spent on. What does this person call it? Virtual crap? A little, a little harsh, but, you know, it's true. But, uh, basically, this could happen again. Parent, I mean, I'm surprised there aren't articles based off of uh, this already about their kids staying at home, and their parents saying, hey, play something else. But, kids can be like, oh, I don't know what to play. 
That's, that uh, articles are not based off of that yet, to my knowledge. And that's the thing, like, what else is there to do? Like, Fortnite's the most popular game right now. To two children, I'm saying children specifically. And they're gonna be playing this game. <laughs> and parents don't like it when their money's being spent, like I said. So, what to do? And I'm surprised, uh, you know, the Karens in the world, you know, the Karens. May I speak to your manager, those type of moms. They're not in a fret. They're probably more worried about the virus than they are about their kids playing Fortnite. That's the only thing that's, that surpasses children playing Fortnite or video games is a virus and uh, them stealing the toilet paper. That's, that's what is more important to them. But I looked at like, this article I, I like because it has an upside to it as well. Yeah, parents admit Fortnite isn't all bad. Julia Meyer told today's parents her son and her daughter bonded while playing Fortnite together. A nice change from the arguing nine stop. Um, where is the thing that I wanted to talk about? That's funny. Okay, even teachers see benefits from this game. Lily Reed, a 10th grade teacher in, in Massachusetts, said that she has seen Fortnite act as an equalizer among her students. Some of my students who are not very social or outgoing have engaged in conversations with some more popular students about the game. And if you're good at Fortnite, there is a respect given that supersedes social positioning in a way I found very indiguiting. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is respect. And like I said, this article is May 2018, but it's funny that could be seen as true. Because this is a 10th grade teacher, and when Fortnite was popular back then, 10th graders played this game, and I played Fortnite back in, in school, actually. I made a video on it years ago. But it's funny that there's respect given. You know, the quiet kid finally speaks, and it's like, yeah, I build those 90s. I, I, I can edit a wall in 0.5 seconds. Everyone's like, oh, respect. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's, just, it's Fortnite. <laughs> You're talking about Fortnite in school, like, I'm not, it's whatever. It's, uh, I, I'm going to call you a loser, but, I mean, or, you know, whatever. But it's ridiculous. It's just funny that in this article, I talk about respect. So, this article has two positions, but I feel like more of these articles could possibly come out that could be seen as them bashing the fact that kids are playing Fortnite and only Fortnite. They're playing it more because of the virus. So, what do you guys think? I mean, that's all for this video. I'm like saying, I'm going to be doing more of these, probably different type of videos I have playing. I'm planning to do a reaction video to a video that I'm not going to say yet, but... Those are the type of videos that if you want to see, subscribe. These are cool videos I kind of want to do because I see people doing them for other type of uh, content and genres. For other popular culture stuff, whatever you want to call it. But I want to do it for Fortnite. I don't really see people doing this type of stuff. So hopefully you can hit the like button and subscribe. I know this content isn't like too like in intuitive because it's not because it's an older article. So it's not going to get those people watching because it's not current news. But it can relate to current news today. So, yeah, I'm gonna go now, so goodbye. Uh, yeah, I confess, father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong, I know.